Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah. All praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rekakadash. Now, you, most people think of God, uh, they don't look at certain aspects of God. And on this lesson, I'm looking at uh, the the mental or the, the the mindset of God. And when you look at First Samuel, First Samuel, let's see here. First Samuel, the second chapter. Uh, verse three it say, "Talk no more, so exceedingly proud. Let not arrogance, arrogancy, come out of your mouth, for the Lord Yahweh is a God of knowledge, and by Him actions are weighed." So, it says that he's a God of knowledge. And so, when you look at that, that gives you a lot of understanding. And that goes along with a proverb that talks about what he likes and what he hates. Now let's get Proverbs because Proverbs talks about what the Lord hates. Let's see here. Proverbs chapter 6 starting at verse 16. It says uh these six things do the Lord hate, yet seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look that goes along with what First Samuel, the second chapter just said. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. Now this lying tongue, that got to do with knowledge jump down to verse 19 and say a false witness that speak lies so when you're dealing with the God of knowledge when you speak a lie that is very important because he deals with knowledge he's a God of knowledge and so speaking a lie is going against what you so called know because the root word for knowledge is to know. So you acting like you know, but you telling a bold faced lie. See, that's what the Lord hates. And when you're doing the opposite of that, telling the truth, he loves the truth. Now, um, let's get, let's see here. Let's get some Proverbs chapter 1 since we in Proverbs Proverbs 1 and 7 it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction so knowledge is uh, is the fear of the Lord Pretty much. Say the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Knowledge is the beginning. I mean, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So he's the, the God of knowledge. And so when you fear him, now you, you're starting to get the knowledge that you need. Okay. And... Let's see here. And so when you go to Daniel, Daniel chapter 12, 
Daniel chapter 12, verse 4, it says, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. So, the book uh, of Daniel and the, the rest of the Bible was going to be sealed until the time of the end. The understanding of the book was going to be sealed or, or locked up, not not open to a, a, a lot of people. But in the end, it said the knowledge shall be increased. So the fear of the Lord would increase in the end times. Because they are anticipating the, the return of the Lord or the day of the Lord. When you go to Romans, Romans chapter 10, verse 2, it says, For I bear them record that they have a, veil, a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. So, our people, especially the Israelites, they don't have uh, the knowledge of God or the fear of the Lord. Now, let's get what the fear, if the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, let's get the main uh, definition, pretty much, of the fear of the Lord. Psalms 111.10. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And to have a good understanding, you got to be doing these commandments. So to, to understand even what the fear of the Lord is, is you obeying the Lord, doing what he tells you to do, and then you will get a good understanding. And so that's what our people is lacking. They don't want to do his commandments. They've been told by the by these churches not to do his commandments. And that's what the, the priest, priest supposed to be telling our people. When you go to Malachi 2 and 7. It says. Um, For the priest or preacher or pastor. Lips should keep knowledge. And they shall seek the law at his mouth. You see. The law is. When they say the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, uh, good understanding, have all they that do his commandments. So you have a good understanding of what the Most High wants you to do if you're trying to do his commandments. And so that's the knowledge that these our people don't have because they are being told by the plantation uh, Christianity philosophy from the so called white man who is the Edomite, the devil that the Bible speak of, our adversary, Satan, our enemy, is telling them that you don't have to keep God's laws or you don't have to worry about the knowledge of God. Now let's go back to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 7 it says the lips of the wise disperse knowledge but the heart of the foolish doeth not so and so these individuals they um they are not telling uh 
people to keep these commandments and obey the Most High. They telling people to, to go against the situation. And that's why they're going through the problem that they're going through. Because they believe in uh, what people say. And not obeying the Lord. In, this, in, in Hotel 4 and 6, it says, My people are destroyed for lack, for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject you, that you shall be no priest to me, seeing you have forgotten the law of thy God. That goes to the law again when it comes to knowledge. The knowledge that you need to have is to obey God's law. That's the main knowledge. And he's a God of knowledge. He deals with knowledge. Telling the truth. Not running your mouth. Telling a lie. The verse goes on to say. I will also forget your children. And he, this is what he said also in Romans. He ended that Romans chapter 10. When he was talking about our people. They don't have uh, zeal according to knowledge. Uh, in 21, he said, in this Romans 10, 21, But to Israel, he said, All day long have I stretched forth my hand unto a disobedient and gang-saying people. See, we read the gang say and say what the, 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 the so-called slave master told us to, to uh, say. That we the, the commandments is done away with. We can't keep the commandments. It's too hard. It's impossible. You see, and it winds us up being disobedient. We we because of what he said. Now we rejecting the knowledge of God, and have we having a, a lack of knowledge, and we being destroyed because he gonna reject us. Once you reject his, him and his his knowledge, his laws, because knowledge is just saying to know. So you rejecting what God wants you to know. He wants you to know his laws, and his laws is telling you what you should do and what you should not do. To know what to do and to know what not to do. You rejecting that. You say, let me listen to the so-called slave master, uh, the, the, these Edomites. Let me listen to them, and I don't, I don't want to have to listen to what God want me to do and what He don't want me to do. That's what it boils down to. See, they rejecting that knowledge. That's the knowledge that they rejecting. Now, when you go to Matthew. Matthew let you know that they, they don't know what they're talking about. Matthew 4 and 4 say, uh, when Yahweh was talking to these devils, it said, He answered and said, is, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Every word out of this Bible you supposed to be listening to and, 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 and abiding by. You see, because just because they say Old Testament, they assume that it's something old, and the New Testament is what you're supposed to go by, and that's that's just a darn lie. Some things in the Old Testament you can't do uh, due to the circumstances, but it's a all it's a lot of things that you can do. So you just don't say oh. We can't. We gonna throw the whole thing out, cause it's some things you can't do. No, you got to, you got to pick out what you can't do and do the rest. And Second so, uh, Timothy three sixteen, it say all scripture is given by inspiration of God. All of them. He didn't just give you the New Testament and, and say deal with this. He gave you all the scriptures to. It say is profitable all the scriptures is profitable for doctrine reproof and correction and instruction and righteousness all of them is prof 
profitable. But see, this is what they tell the Most High in Malachi. Let's get Malachi 3 uh, and 13. But three and thirteen, he say, "Your words have been, uh, your words have been stout against me," says the Lord. Yet ye, you say, "What have we spoken so much against you?" Fourteen. He say you have said is I mean it is vain to serve God and what profit is it that we keep his order ordinance or his laws or his commandments and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts so he pretty much saying what 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 is it gonna profit us? to keep this knowledge of the Old Testament, of these laws and these things you don't want us to do or these things you want us to do, what is it going to profit us that we keep the ordinance? And what is it going to profit us that we walk around mournfully about what we done did wrong? You see, that's what I, the, the, these people are saying because you know, these these dragons is telling them that they don't got to worry about the Old Testament. The new, your your Hawashah, who they even call Jesus Christ, came and did away with everything. And that's a that's a lie. And so that's what why our people is catching hell here in Babylon, the Great America. Now let me get that in. Jeremiah because this is exactly what's going on with these people and they don't know they don't understand what's going on Jeremiah uh, chapter 15 verse 7 and I'm gonna get straight to the point he said I will destroy my people since they return not from their ways you see our people is pretty much forsaking the most high and he said he gonna destroy them because they rejecting the knowledge his laws see they rejecting the, his his do's and don'ts they reject it and they listen to their slave master the white man so called Edomite the devil that the bible speaks of that's who they want to listen to that's who they choosing to uh, let them uh, pretty much rule over them and, and uh, follow, uh, guide them, you know, a blind guide. They follow this blind uh, guide, this Judas goat, straight into destruction. And so the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all the Israelites, they need to repent and keep God's laws and... If they don't, they're going to be destroyed by nuclear fire. And that's pretty much uh, the knowledge that they rejecting. they rejecting that knowledge. they saying the evil ain't going to overtake them. That's what they saying. But I'm going to leave it there. All praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. By Shimon Kakadash, double honors to the elders pushing the truth. Peace of the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.